Breaking news. Bicycle chain lube doubles in price due to the hydrocarbon prices increasing on the world market. <laughs> well, we may actually have an increase in our bicycle lube to put on our chain, but really it's it's sense when we come down to it because a little bottle will last us probably a year or two. So it's not a huge impact for our cyclists. And also the more we cycle, the more we're actually saving by not putting petrol in our car. So let's roll that intro and let's see how the bicycle can really change things on the world market if in mass people decide to take up and start riding their bicycles. Well, obviously, a few people riding their bike or just me still riding my bike is not going to have a mass impact. But it's been studied that most people drive their car, their, most of their trips are less than 10 kilometres. A huge percentage of how far they travel in their car is less than 10 kilometres, which is very, very doable by a bicycle. And I know here in Australia, you might just have a shop that's 500 metres down the road and people will go out into their garage, get in the car and drive 500 metres down the road just to buy a few things and come home. They won't walk or they won't get a bike out. And this is where I think that we can make a little bit, if everyone does it, can make a huge change. Now, we're all saying, should we cut the gas pipeline to Europe and stop buying gas and oil off Russia? But I do think that we need to really start winning us off, our, ourselves off it right now. And the way we can do that is governments could start subsidising, encourage people to using their bikes more, to use them for small trips. Or they could have a counter system where the more fuel you use, the more expensive it actually gets. So for people who are travelling short distances, it's cheaper. Or people that need it for business get it at a, at a subsidised rate. There's so many systems we can put in. Because it's easy to say, hey, look, let's do something about Ukraine, but you've got to do it. And, of course, someone has to have the hardship because every, everything's in balance in the world. All trade is balanced. So if people want more, they make more. If people want less, they make less. And that's the same with oil. That's why it's so hard to gear up because it's not that there isn't the amount of oil in the world. It's the amount of how much we're using because people only pump that much out of the ground or they only build that many refineries to meet the world market as it is now. And if you take one player out of the market, because there's less oil and gas, of course, then there's less gas for the usage, so the price goes up and people can't just start making it tomorrow. But people right now, I bet any money, people right now who are in the gas and petrol industry are already gearing up to meet that demand. So that's where we are. But I'm looking at the other side of the coin where we can get out of our cars or we can manage different things in the way we use heat energy to reduce our dependency on these products. And let's be real. I mean, governments around the world, all the Western governments have been saying zero carbon emissions by 2050, and we're less than 30 years out. So if we're not winning ourselves, ourselves off these products right now, how are we going to meet that target? It's just going to be unachievable it's basically just a wish list so i think that we should all bite the bullet and we should all get on our bikes and we should all start riding and let's just turn the gas down and that oil down that's coming out of russia well in conclusion is the bicycle the answer or could the bicycle be the answer with other initiatives? And what are the, some of the things that I think they could do is that the government could offer transport, like buses and that, and trains. They could get rid of the fee completely. So it encourages more people to use the train and buses. They can also give payments for people who car share, and they can also give incentives, some sort of payments for people using bicycles. How they do that, I'm not too sure, but I'm sure they could come up with some sort of scheme. And this would help people move away from gas and oil and especially at the moment because we have this extra incentive we really want to help the ukrainians so these things i do know have been tried in the past and people have been sort of lukewarm to them but this is a little bit different because we have a 
a world changing event at the moment, I think people will take up these things. And once we develop the culture, people might maintain that culture. So guys, what do you think? Leave, leave your comments down below and let me know if you think these ideas could be realistic and would work or do you think that people are so comfortable with their cars that they're just not going to change and they're not going to walk down the shop and they're not going to get on a bike or they're not going to car share or they're not going to use public transport people just love their convenience well anyway guys that's where i'm going to leave it and i'll see you next vid cheers